Automator. If you like a movie that's a bit of a slow burn but very sort of thought provoking, then you may want to check out this movie. So Automator is a 2014 movie starring Antonio Banderas and kind of deals with uh, AI in a kind of a futuristic landscape. Now this is actually an independently sort of financed movie, so it is uh, a little bit different to your kind of standard sort of Hollywood produced movies, although it does have quite a lot of recognizable talent in front of the camera here. Obviously I've mentioned uh, Antonio Banderas, but you've also got Robert Forrester, you've got Merle Griffiths, among a few other actors who you're gonna kind of recognize. So it still does have that kind of, you know, fairly sort of high budget feel to it, even though it's not actually a particularly high budget movie. Now, the best way I can describe this movie in a very kind of short sentence is a, basically a kind of a, a, a feel between, I would say, Blade Runner, iRobot, and kind of Planet of the Apes. And basically the story focuses on Antonio Banderas' character, Jack, who is a investigator, like an insurance investigator for a robotics company. And the, basically the robots have been produced to kind of the service the needs of mankind because we've basically messed up our environment and it's the, you know the, the population has dwindled and it's you know things are looking quite bad and these robots basically are here to do all the kind of the crappy jobs as you probably expect in a film like this but the robots have been kind of programmed with sort of two rules in mind the first one being basically that they can't kind of harm any humans and the second rule being that they can't uh, alter themselves and as you'd expect, things start to go a little bit sort of not quite as you'd expect, as there seems to be evidence that some robots seem to be able to be doing this. And basically, Jack is essentially investigating this, this claims initially, and it's really sort of stumbled onto a kind of a, a, a large mystery. And this is kind of a mystery, almost, uh, a kind of a detective film more than anything else. Don't go into this movie thinking it's going to be a kind of action film, because it really isn't. There's a few bits of action here and there, but it's quite a slow burn, as I say. And we find out, without sort of going into too much, obviously, that the, that the AI sort of comes into effect. And it, this is why I kind of use a comparison to say something along the lines of Planet of the Apes. And if you've seen that movie, you know where it's going. And obviously, we're introduced to the kind of the, uh, the robotics sort of characters. Um, and they seem to be sort of, you know, having a bit of a life of their own, so to speak. I might go sort of too much into the plot because I don't really want to spoil it for you because it is, as I say, there is a little bit of a, a kind of mystery involved here. Of course, suffice to say that there's kind of shady corporate types who want to kind of shut, shut shit down and uh, they them being the bad guys, so to speak. Anyway, that's the plot. That's all I'm going to say about it. So what's the film like? I actually thoroughly enjoyed this movie. This is a well-made film, although I don't think it's going to be for everyone. Like I said, this movie is a slow burn, so if you want a kind of a, a fast-paced action movie, you're not going to find it here. This is more of a, a kind of thought-provoking, emotional piece in a lot of ways. But I have to say, it's quite smartly made. Um, it, it's a really, I have to say the world building is very good. It does really kind of draw you into this kind of this grimy uh, Blade Runner-esque sort of atmosphere, like a cyberpunk sort of landscape basically, uh, and it really kind of shows you this kind of world that is really dilapidated and, and, and it's all down to the kind of you know, human arrogance basically. And you kind of, it takes a little while, I would say, but you kind of do sort of end up buying into the characters. Uh, I, I would say um, the main character, Jack, he's a likable guy, played by Antonio Banderas, and I'd have to say one of his sort of strongest roles. But I think maybe he, you know, he comes, he's a little bit late almost coming to the conclusions that he should come to, I would say. That's one sort of minor criticisms I would have of it. But I think, you, you know, you buy into his character, he's very sort of fallible. And the, the kind of the robots themselves don't have much of a personality exactly, but that's kind of the whole point. Uh, but nonetheless, you kind of still kind of warm to them and you kind of, you know, you're interested to sort of learn more about these characters. And on the subjects of the kind of the robots, the majority of the effects here are, are practical and they use, you know, actual kind of uh, dummies, I guess, and kind of you know, automated um, props. And so they look pretty good. They kind of very much look like, you know, I should expect these kind of using practical effects, these kind of awkward humanoid things that are walking around. There is a little bit of CGI, which is a little bit noticeable, but you know, not you know, for this budget, you can't really complain too much. The only real minor issue I have with this film is that some of the acting from the smaller characters, the kind of just the sort of the, the peripheral characters, is a little bit of a mixed bag. The main sort of cast. Like I said, they're all pretty good. You've got seasoned actors there. And I actually say, like I said, I think um, Banderas is actually pretty good in the role. 
but there are some sort of characters like the kind of these the technician the female technician for example at the beginning of the movie when they sort of first discover this kind of anomaly characters that sort of size are quite sort of their their line delivery is a little bit poor to be honest but that's really the only kind of uh, real main issue I'd say say this with a couple of nitpicks here and there but that's the only real thing like I said I don't think this movie is going to be for everyone it is a slow paced movie so if you, you may find it boring if you kind of used to your more sort of shoot em up style sort of action flicks but overall I actually found this a thoroughly engaging film you know very entertaining it really kind of makes me want to kind of see more of this world and it you know it leaves sort of certain questions unanswered but not to the point where it's going to become annoying I would strongly suggest you go and check this film out if you're interested in intelligent science fiction I think it's a little bit of a find uh, again I'd like to see it get a little bit more of attention so go check this out I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10 have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now